Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome all of you back for another video. Anyways, so I hope you all had a good 4th of July. I hope you all have been doing well. Um, and how are all of you doing? Anyways, so today's shave is going to be with a razor that I don't believe I've ever used on camera yet. And it is this one right here, my 1965 Black Handle Chic Corona. This is an absolutely wonderful razor. The handle, it's long, it's a long handle, and it's plastic. It's got some pretty decent knurling on it. Um, you know, like I said, I don't think I've used it. I might have, I just can't remember. But the knob is metal. The TTO knob is metal. To me, it kind of looks like a rocket ship with a uh, razor head on top. And, of course, the head's metal. I paid 20 bucks for this um, razor up in Northern California. It came with the case, and it said 1965 on the case. So, um, if it wasn't in that case, I would have had no idea how to identify it. Um, and the thing I like about these shit Coronas is when you twist this TTO knob closed, it does not wiggle loose. I mean, you got to actually put a little bit of effort into opening and closing, you know, open it once open it once it's closed. The blade is a Gillette Silver Blue. This is its, I believe, third use, which will be, no, fourth use, which will be its last. I get about four good shaves out of that, out of those um, Silver Blues. After that, I toss them. The brush is going to be one which I've used a couple of times so far, and it was a gift, which is this one here. It is the Orange Handle Razor Rock 400 um, synthetic brush. Um, in case you're not familiar with these, this style handle, um, these handles are, are styled after the old Rubber Sweat 400 brushes, and it's you know, it's kind of narrow, so it does have a tendency to fall over a little bit, but, you know, it's no big deal. The soap is a sample. I might have used it before, but it is a PAA soap, and it is the Planet 9, which I've got about enough after this shave for one more good shave with it. Um, the smell is just really nice kind of cologne a little bit to me. So anyways, maybe two shaves left. So anyways, let's go ahead. Let's get the shave started. Um, just got done with the shower, so my whiskers there are good and hydrated. Um, got three or four days growth, so yeah, it's time for a shave. There we go. water in there. And I'm mixing up the lather or mixing up the or lathering the soap in my old Castle Forbes lavender tub. So if you you know want to use the soap sample take out some however much you want to use press it into something a mug the scuttle an old soap container or something. That way you can actually get a swirl going because there ain't no way you're going to swirl with something that small. You're not going to go ahead and be able to load your brush that easy. Throw a touch of water in it. good load right there. Oh, let's go in with the face. Oops, one moment. Gotta grab my shave towel here. If 
hear some muttering in the background, that's Conan O'Brien. My girlfriend's watching it right now. I had to leave the bathroom door open to let some air circulate. Haven't had a chance much to catch up on many of the YouTubers I watch. Um, if you watch Trevi, Trevor B, um, and you didn't see his one of his more recent videos, I believe he called it. Do not buy this soap. Get a little bit of water. Um, there's a soap he used. I forget what it's called. But you might. Want to watch it so you can be fair warned about a certain soap. Um, hang on, folks. into this blade. Go ahead. Good train. Wow. Cutting really nice. These Coronas. If you can find one, they are a really, really good, good razor. Yeah. Not most aggressive, but you feel the blade a little bit. That longer handle. Just makes them really nice for if you're a head shaver. It's a good head shaving razor. Um, like I said, not a real aggressive razor. Now. I don't know if Chick made anything other than the Corona as far as double edge offerings go, but if this is the only double edge they ever made, they did it right.
they definitely did it right. I have a friend, and you know who you are, who's been, he's been wanting this Corona for a while, but, you know, um, it's one of my top five razors, vintage wise, and, um, I really, really just enjoy it. One razor that will definitely stay in my den for the or the foreseeable future. I'd love to get a second one to put away for my son for when he becomes old enough to, for when he gets old enough to shave. So here I'll like get a couple of extras. Just so if that one ever breaks or for whatever reason uh, gets damaged, I have to have an extra one, so to speak. <laughs> Cross grain. Decent audio feedback. Not the best, but not the worst. Oops, almost dropped it. I don't think there's any blades I've ran in this that was just a bad match. And, uh, Ran Astros, GSBs, Wilkinson Sword, Gillette, Saloon Blades, Rockwell, Feathers, Darby, and so far every single blade I've ran in that razor has been a really good match. Made some fairly quick work at the whiskers. Trying a couple of things during my shaving routine. Uh, one new thing. Gonna go a couple of shades without applying balm. Just with hazel and aftershave. And of course I still randomly use alum. Um, so see if that helps with some of my going against the grain, which will go good at an angle. 
the neck, on the sides. Nice job on the neck. Shades video here. I don't know. A couple weeks back. No. Um, he asked his grandmother if she had any 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 of her his grandfather's old shave stuff. No. Um, turns out that. Uh, shit, Corona. Yeah. Along with one or two other things. Brush. And it just been used down to the nub. Right. That's at least. Easy enough to fix. I'd love to be able to have some of my, my granddad's old shape stuff, but unfortunately, not the case. just kicked on yeah hope y'all are staying cool we're dealing with like 106 degree temperatures here where I live anyways got a couple little spots anyways I'm gonna go ahead and cut away and uh, well, let me do a little quick buffing here in case you're not familiar with buffing it's simple just short strokes. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut a winger and uh, go ahead and touch up a couple little spots here on my face and go ahead and, and uh, do my head and I'll be back for the post. Anyways, see you in a minute. Hello everybody. Anyways, that was an absolutely wonderful shave. Um, the Corona with the Gillette Silver Blue. No nicks, no cuts on my face. Baby butt smooth. My neck, pretty close. Got a little bit here and here, but I always have right there. It's problem spots. Um, my head, got a couple little, little problem spots, but that's not not unusual um, the soap everything you want in a soap uh, PAA or Phoenix shaving planet 9 a um, bit perfumey a little bit perfumey um, but great great slickness glide residual slickness all there for soap um, the brush the Razor Rock 400 um, great synthetic brush um, really like it if you haven't tried one, go ahead, give it a try. You might like it too. 
And uh, so that's my thoughts on, on the gear, the hardware and software. So let's move on to the post, shall we? Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Hardly a tingle. Hardly a tingle. Tonight, I'm not going to use the post shave bomb because I'm thinking maybe because how it's kind of. Replaces the moisture in your skin. Maybe it might be making my skin a little oily. That's why I've been having issues around my chin. So I'm gonna try going for a bit without it, and just and if that works, then I'll just use it as a winter product. Or if maybe I'm out and about and get too much sun and dried out. So tonight. The aftershave is going to be Dollar General brand. Um, I forget exactly what to call it, but it's basically their version of Brute Green, which has a great, it's got a great, great smell. It's not a dead ringer for Brute Green, but it's pretty close. Got a little bit of burn. Love the smell of this stuff. It and Brute Green. Absolutely great. So. Hmm. And that, boys and girls, is the shave. Anyways. Um, yeah, that's a real good shave. I'm really, really happy with that. Um, not a lot of irritation from the razor, so the aftershave didn't burn like it like it could have, like it does sometimes with a little bit more aggressive razor. Um, anyways, mm, love to smell that. Anyways, that was a great shave. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, thank you for joining me. Um, thank you for all your subscriptions, um, likes, comments, always welcome. Uh, if you're not a subscriber. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the bell to go ahead and get notified whenever I drop a new video. And my, if you ever need to reach me, my email address is justlance59 at gmail.com. All lowercase, no spaces. Anyways, I hope you all have a good one. Uh, take it easy, and I shall see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.